Uh, good morning guys. Joe here with the Black Rock Central Railroad. What I'm going to attempt to do here today is uh, answer a couple of requests that I have gotten eh, over the past six months anyway of a little more detailed look at the refinery that's on the Black Rock Central Railroad. So I'm going to try to break this thing down a little bit so that you got an idea as to uh, what I accomplished with this mess. I've never seen a real refinery. I've only looked at a couple of pictures on the internet and realized it's a lot of stacks and fracking towers and tanks and pipes that go every which direction. So that's what we tried to do with this one here. But we're going to start out just kind of zoom in here on one side of this anyway. This here is the basic Walther's kit, refinery kit, with a bunch of additions to it. I built the kit right out of the box, then tried to add a couple of lights into it after it was done. But what you see here is the basic kit with the addition of a whole bunch of extra parts which came from the Walther's Natural Gas Supply Company which are the white tanks here in the front and some of the tanks in the back. Other assorted tanks that I conjured up from other kits or made out of small pieces of PVC pipe. I had this one on there originally by itself with a couple of tanks and I thought I've got a lot more room to expand this a little bit. So we built a second refinery kit which is this one here. And in addition, instead of building this one right out of the box, we didn't use the base. We spaced things out a little more this way. So that it wasn't all confined to the, uh, shall we say, 12 inch by 12 inch area that the original uh, kit has you build it in. We added a couple of uh, more towers here in the back. The three in the back. They came from... Uh, Bruce Giroux, they are 3D printed, which I just added a couple more uh, pipes to them, sent some pipes off in different directions, so that it at least looks like everything's hooked together one way or another. In addition to all of this mess, we added a couple people, make it look like they're, they're doing something here anyway. And swinging around here a little bit, we've added a whole bunch of uh, probably about two and a half feet of piping here to look like it's actually getting crude oil from somewhere else. We've added a bunch of tanks in our storage area, which two of these large tanks are from Walther's. The rest are PVC pipe, which we just cut off, put caps on, put some pipes in, add a little bit of weathering to them, and just put them in general areas where it looked good. As you can see, most of my supply lines or intake and output lines just go underground. They come out so far, then I show them underground to go underneath the tracks and anywhere else that they may need to go to. Pan back here a little bit. The white line there, or the white piping, is a new addition. I needed a, an unloading area, so I fabricated an unloading area, which you'll see here in a little bit. And this is the 
oil lines, the two oil lines that come in and actually go to the refinery. The silver lines are my refined oil and anything else that the uh, plant might have produced that will go to the loading racks. I've heard every industry needs an office of some strange origin. So the green building there is a pike stuff kit, which I just threw together and dropped in there. The loading rack in the foreground is another Walther's kit, which once I get some tank trucks, we'll have them backed up there to where it looks like they're getting filled up. We've added more storage tanks. Again, the large tank there is a Walther's kit. The others are nothing more than PVC pipe. Swinging around to our loading and unloading area here. We have three of the Walther's unloading racks butted up side by or end to end. We can either load from both sides or just load from only one side and use the other track in the center there as my unloading track. The white pipe there represents the manifold with valves and hoses that we used in the unloading process. Tanks can come or tankers can pull in or uh, be shoved in, hooked up, and their cargo discharged, which then goes to the small pumping house and gets pumped to the refinery. where it's all broken down and whatever the hell they do in a refinery. <laughs> this whole area here is about, uh, I believe this area here is almost six feet long. Down to this area here, and then we make a right hand turn and wind up with about another uh, almost three feet area, three foot area. We have added a whole bunch of LED lights to this mess. Because most refineries that I have seen pictures of are pretty well lit. And let's see if we can uh, turn some of the lights off down here to where you might be able to see what we're doing. That there will give you a general idea as to what we look like when we're lit up. Our fracking towers do have two blinking red lights on them.
see if we can't pan around here just a little bit and then try to get back over here to our loading and unloading area where you can see what that looks like lit up I have incorporated something a little new in addition to my daytime fluorescent lights I've added what I call a twilight lights in here basically under a full moon which adds just a little bit of more light to the area for nighttime operations it's nothing more than a couple of blue incandescent light bulbs that I added to the ceiling To a certain extent, the camera doesn't really like it, but I think it adds a little bit to the overall scene. So that'll conclude my little tour and I'm hoping you all enjoyed this especially the guys that have been asking for a more detailed look I guess maybe they're trying to build one of their own and wanted some general ideas this is actually I've actually built three of these two of them for myself and then uh, I built a separate ones for Jack Jack which he has on his layout if you get a chance you can stop by his channel and check his out his is actually a chemical plant is what he uses his for and has his arranged a little bit different than mine but like I say Hope you enjoyed this little tour, and uh, tune in again when we come up with something else. Hope this answered your questions. If you have any, put them down there in the comments, and I'll do my best to answer them for you. So thanks for watching. We'll catch you all later. Bye for now.